Welcome to a snowy vlog, <laughs> yeah, and with that random intro, uh, welcome, yeah, you guys wanted it from Manfred and me, a vlog, you said, yeah, let's do a, do a vlog, that's surely fun, uh, Manfred and I have no idea why you find that fun, actually, because vlog just consists of random bullshit, so, um, I, we decided, okay, let's do each of us one day of our life and then be done with it. No, you're not gonna get those daily vlogs that you want. And yes, this is the quality you're gonna get. iPhone front facing camera. Yeah, Apple, good job. The phone is falling out of the case, but that's okay. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I I'm making myself a coffee while doing the vlog. Did you really think I'm gonna focus on you guys? You wanted the shit, it's not like I wanted it. I just have to laugh at myself right now. I always criticize people of making vlogs and drinking coffee while it, and now I'm essentially the same. Well, the difference between me and them is they gain millions of views and earn a living. I don't. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> That's YouTube for you. Quality entertainment. Are you yet entertained? When other YouTubers do it, you guys seem to love it and smash the like button. When I do it, it's cringe or oh, what? I mean, it is cringe, but what? Is, is this this professional angle or this is this professional coffee drinking angle that all those YouTubers do, right? <laughs> Am I doing it right, guys? I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice day. It's a nice snowy day in Austria. And I'm drinking coffee. Well, no, exciting, isn't it? By the way, guys, another tech fail. I could talk, well, not really a tech fail, but whatever. Uh, I need to get a new case for my iPhone 6S. No, actually, I can't even brag about that anymore, right? To today's standards, an iPhone 6S is old piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck, damn it. There you go, that's the problem. It broke off. And now when I hold the iPhone, sometimes a bit awkwardly, it begins to slide out. And till now, I always caught it before it fell. But I really don't want to risk it getting, 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 falling to the ground. Yes, I'm an English student. You can't believe me, it's true. No, but getting to the topic, I wanted to say, um, many children I see these days always say one thing that pisses me off so much. They're standing there and like, well, I only got the iPhone 6S. God, I need the new iPhone 10. Holy shit. Yes, I need it. You don't need shit, boy. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. Nobody of us really needs the new iPhone. We just want it. That's the difference. You need. If you say you want the new iPhone, okay. If you say you need the new iPhone, uh, chances are you're lying. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we are. One day later, actually, because I'm in Graz now in my apartment that I share with my flatmates, uh, and now, right now, they're not here and awkward in Austria especially to vlog when there are other people around that don't and we don't even have anything to do with YouTube so that's why I'm doing it now because then I can talk normally and don't have to like whisper and be all like, mysterious and shit <laughs> all right so I'm not gonna show you the whole apartment oh you can see the kitchen if you want <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna show you my room actually because the vlog is that short uh, I actually recorded the drive to Graz but I think I will make that a separate video and yeah, it's too long and it, it's just not this vlog style that should be so we're gonna do it again more crappy like you should you, like it is like our videos are and so we're just gonna go for it Let's just go into my room here we are this is my empire um, as you can see it's not done yet um, it's pretty clean <laughs> still uh, there's much stuff I still have to hang, some uh, posters, like here you see nothing on there. There's just one The Dark Knight poster I just put there. It's not that big of a room, as you can tell, it's like one, two, three, four, five, and there I am. Five and a bit, feet, uh, footsteps, big footsteps, and then I'm at the end of the room. But that's fine, like that, that's totally fine, I'm not even complaining, it's, even, it's bigger than my actual room where I was in before. Not even complaining, like the location where I'm living, perfect, amazing, the flatmates are awesome. So I can't complain at all. But just thought I'm gonna show you my room. Well, here is a bed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and here are my shelves slash wardrobe. You will see what I mean about that. As you can see, I'm a movie enthusiast, many movies, and yes, it continues. <laughs> and there are my mangas. Yes, I read manga. Uh, and one book by YouTuber, Chris Stuckman. I actually, I do not agree anymore that much with his reviews, but 
This book is quite good. There are many good flicks in there that he recommends. What I mean with uh, wardrobe as well is it's a walk-in closet, yes! And we can walk in there and as you can see here are my clothes and stuff I need for cleaning and if we turn the light on, yes there is even a light in there. Um, if we turn it on you can see I have here my games, yes this is my whole game collection, Wii, PS4, VR games, um, Nintendo Switch and even some old ass funky <laughs> GameCube games, like Pokemon Red and Blue on there. As you can see, my gaming section. Still a lot of place, a lot of free space, but that's what I wanted because like it's a big wardrobe slash shelf, but there's so much room in such a little place. And again, because my uh, room isn't that big, that's perfect for me. And this is why, what not the, okay, there we go. There's a sensor, like it doesn't work perfectly, so we put it the other way. And if I turn it off and hold my hand before the sensor, it doesn't work right. So sometimes I fuck that still up. But yeah, as I said, it's I love this one. It's amazing, as much space, I love it. And now probably to the stuff you more care about, my PC setup. There we go. Yes, even with a Razer mouse pad. <laughs> I'm watching a stream right now, by the way. Um, yeah, two monitors, one Samsung and one Asus. I know it's not the same monitors, you know, normally should get the exact same monitor. Deal with it. <laughs> um, and here's my computer, you know, this is my trash can. This is the Mac Pro. No? Uh, there's my PC, as you can see, my gaming PC, which I built in 2017. I'm gonna link the video I did with Manfred, where we built our my PC. So if you want to see that, click on that, and there you go. All right, so my setup. Just a normal ass keyboard, like one of those clicky ones. No, it's not mechanical, it's just an old keyboard, but I'm fine with it. I don't need a mechanical special keyboard, although they're really nice, I have to say. I really like them, but I don't need it since I play almost with controller. I wanted to show it to you, but I'll show it later. But the only thing I have, because I like Razer as a brand, this Razer mousepad is actually really nice, and my Razer mouse, which I bought like years ago. But still, I really like this mouse, it's a good mouse. And it wasn't that expensive because normally Razer products, holy shit. <laughs> and my TV setup, yes, I know, no, not a 4K TV, no, it isn't a big TV, but it's fine, guys. This, this TV lasted me, since I have a PS3, I think six years now, or even more, and it still works perfectly. Yes, here and there, there are some little bugs, which come from the age, but for its age, Samsung, you've done an awesome product. It really works well and I can't complain until I get a 4K TV for my own. This is totally fine. So beside my TV, you have my controllers for my PS4, which is right there. Yes, clean, no cables, I know. They're all behind. And the Xbox One controller, which I actually prefer. I need to be honest, I like this more then the PlayStation 4 controller, it's really well made. But this is just for my PC actually, because again, I told you, console gamer, I just need to play on a, with a controller. I'm just so used to it and I love this controller. Yes, it was expensive, I need to say, like I think 70 or 80 bucks almost. Really expensive controller, but then again, wireless, but, 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 I actually have to tell you guys about that. Batteries, really Microsoft, in an $80 controller. No rechargeable batteries, really. <laughs> so this is a free place, there's nothing in there yet, but probably my PS3 will soon stand in there. Here I'll hide the cables, my cable mismanagement. And here are all the accessories for the gaming. Everything from my switch controllers to the PSVR, mm, how do you say, unit, the computing unit and all other stuff, so yeah. So yeah, that's a brief tour of my room. No, actually, there's one more thing I wanna show you. I didn't show you before, I'll show you that. Actually, on my TV setup, I love this light. It's simplistic, like Apple would say. As you can see, it makes re it really does some good job at lighting things up for, for its size, and it looks quite fancy, so I, I really like that light. Just wanted to show you that. My USB hub, obviously, I don't know if I really have to say that, but there, there you go, also a USB hub, because you cannot have enough USBs. And here, hidden, 
if I can open it with one hand, because which I can, are all USBs, SD cards, everything. Aside from one little fella that I just like, my personal USB, it's a BB-8 one, yes. And I just love those gimmicky USBs. Yes, they're a bit more expensive than others, but... And if you pull off the head of BB-8, there you go. I just like those gimmicky USBs. Manfred also has a BMW USB where the lights flash when you put it in. That's also quite nice. Maybe I'll get that one as well. So I really like those USBs and it's a 16 gigabyte one actually. And this one, I'll just keep standing here on the table because it looks quite nice actually. By the way, one more thing I actually can talk to you guys about. I yesterday watched the movie Wonder Woman. Yes, I'm gonna adjust the camera while talking to you guys. Yes, I saw Wonder Woman finally. And I have to be honest, I didn't really enjoy it as much as people said. People were like, oh yes, this is such a good movie. Uh, such a good woman. Such a good movie, yes, nine out of 10, I even heard 10. Uh, no, 10 out of 10, no, but 8 out of 10, and really good ratings, and I was kind of hyped for it. I was like, yes, a good DC movie. And then I watched it with my flatmates yesterday, and we were like, really? I didn't like it that much. Like, the, the slow motion was overused to, to the point where it made action scenes a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. The plot, in my opinion, wasn't that good. The villain, Iris, was pretty badly introduced. And Gal Gadot's performance, for some reason, was fluctuating the whole time. It was from good to okay to not that good, and then up and down again. I don't know. And one thing, I know people say, no, don't, why, do, why does that bother you? Uh, Gal Gadot's accent, you know? The thing is, I'm, I, I will be an English teacher. I'm starting to be an English teacher. And I have to do pronunciation uh, seminars. And I know how hard it is because I haven't perfected it yet. But come on, if I as a teacher have to do it, and I can do it, Gal Gadot can do it as well. I, I, I don't believe that she can't. Maybe actually she can't, I don't know. It's not her having the accent that annoys me. It's the reason why the accent is in there. Because it comes off as, yes, everyone on that island has that accent, but in fact, if you Google it or research a bit, the reason why everyone on that island has that accent is just because Gal Gadot couldn't get the, that American accent right. So everyone else had to emulate her accent. And I don't know, that's a bit, well, I don't know, I didn't like it that much, but still, I don't know, at the end fight, to be honest, it reminded me a bit of Batman vs Superman with Doomsday, where everything just blew up and stuff like that, and Addis was really kind of the, he was such such a weak villain, from just from the development of his character, development of his character. I don't know, I didn't really like it. I actually gave it a 5 out of 10 because I see the story behind it. I see the importance of this movie. And yes, and Gal Gadot, she works as Wonder Woman. I don't say she doesn't. And I'm not saying it's a bad movie, no. But it didn't get me that much. It's actually not a movie I would buy on Blu-ray. It's not something I'll say I would watch again. Like, oh yes, let's watch that movie again. So what is your opinion actually on that, guys? Do you think, yeah, no, Wonder Woman was actually quite fine. What are you talking about? Let's have a constructive and normal discussion in the comments. Why not? I like to discuss topics, especially movies or tech, with you guys. So yes, guys, this was the vlog. I know normally a vlog should consist out of the happenings of one day. But then again, then it would have only been like a three minute vlog and I just didn't want to do that. And I actually recorded yesterday in the night when my friends were, my flatmates were sleeping. But I, I just was like, hey guys, welcome. And I just found it awkward. So I wanted to do it again when nobody was there and I could talk normally. All right guys, so this was it. I don't know, did you really enjoy this shit? <laughs> I don't know, I find vlogs so crappy, but I don't know, if you like it, really like it, maybe I'll do another one. But yeah, you wanted it, so we did it now. That's me, David, signing off. Have a good one.